गुड मॉर्निंग एंड असलम आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग फाइन लेट्स नाउ डिस्कस अबाउट द नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स एंड टुडे वी विल आइडेंटिफाई द इफेक्ट ऑफ नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स ऑन ह्यूमन एंड वी विल डिस्कस सेवरल वेज इन विच ह्यूमन एक्टिविटीज कंट्रीब्यूट टू नेचुरल डिजास्टर्स okay impact of natural disasters natural disasters have enormous impact on humans it could be primary or secondary so what are primary effects primary effects are noticeable immediately like human casualties destroyed building and collapsed infrastructure while the secondary impact become apparent later like psychological effect diseases and permanent loss of communities individual impact of natural disasters natural disasters can have a life altering impact on individuals and families fortunate enough to survive them the impact can often be felt physically mentally and emotionally natural disasters causing causes destruction of houses property and financial losses and after experiencing these losses the p individual develop severe post post traumatic stress disorders or withdraw into the state of depression okay in the community impact the effect of natural disasters can be felt at the community level also in city state level and many times it can impact the entire community these events can cause billions of dollars in damage and not all governments are equipped to fund the process of post disasters clean up and rebuilding many local communities loses so much in economic resources that the recovery becomes very difficult economic impact natural disasters can cause severe economic hardship to communities particularly if the communities depend on agriculture for their living like in prolonged drought brought 50% or reduction in the gdp growth during 1998 and till 2000 in pakistan and floods in 2010 cost pakistan 10 billion one of the most immediate and economically devastating concern with the natural disaster is the damage to both public and private infrastructure rebuilding it uh, rebuilding it needed a lot of money which affect the country's economy environmental environmentalists have proposed that for the economical and the social development project countries should find ways to preserve these resources for the next generation and this is called sustainable development sustainable development is a development that meets the need of the present without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs sustainable development integrates economic development social development and environmental protection now let us discuss the human activities which are contributing to the natural disasters and they are deforestation deforestation can lead to landslides and floods and droughts in places where the forests have been cut down the flow of rainfall a rainwater is so rapid that it overflows the bank of the rivers and hence causes floods and landslides agricultural activity similar to deforestation it destroys the top soil which absorbs the rainwater consequently more water will wash into the river bed and the water system become overloaded the water level rises and it leads to flood dams hydroelectric power dams that are built in earthquake prone areas can actually cause earthquake how that with the water when it leaks deep into the earth it lubricate the rocks and the surface that are already under strain without this lubrication friction holds the rocks but when this lubrication means that they can split apart and causes an earthquake mining mining also increases the occurrence of uh, tremors and during the process of fracking for oil and natural gas waste water used in the process affect the seismic activity as it cracks rocks and lubricate faults now it's time to work 
explain the difference between primary and secondary effect of the natural disasters, explain how deforestation can cause droughts, and what is fracking and how it can it induce unnatural disasters. I hope you like the lesson. Thank you very much.